Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jesse Warden here. Today I wanted to talk about doing HTTP calls from Node on the server or Ajax on the server and what libraries you can use. We use a lot of Restify at work. It's a middleware for Node, so you don't have to use the raw HTTP. You can do both web server stuff and Ajax calls to other servers, which is one of the primary mechanisms of Node. It's to be orchestration layers. You can build APIs in it, no doubt, but a lot of times you're very quickly building APIs for yourself on the clients. You're building an Angular or React or Vue application on the client or even iOS and Android, and you want the data in a specific format that makes it easier for you on the client. You're gonna do a lot of Ajax calls, not just creating actual routes for yourself to other servers and other places and other databases to morph that data into something that's useful for you. The problem I have is I got this question three times this week is what library we're supposed to use for Ajax on the server. So you're not gonna use nodes built in HTTP. That's a lot of work. And there's a lot of other libraries that have done all the hard work on top of it for you and figured out all the issues and battle tested, Restify or Express or happy, any of them are great, but Restify come with a JSON client. So if you go to Restify's API and go to the very bottom, you'll see this JSON client. It allows you to specify the root URL. And at that point, once you've created this client, you can make Ajax calls, client get. A lot of people will use super test because it comes with most of the unit testing. So you want to unit test your headers and the HTTP response code. I don't think you need this unless you're testing these kind of things. It's got some great syntax sugar, but if all you're really testing is, hey dude, is my data legit? All, all I really care about is the data, but I don't care about any of this other stuff. Most unit tests are supposed to test one thing anyway, so I don't think you need super tests for that. Request is wonderful, but it does basically the same thing. The difference is, is that request has a significant amount of functionality. If, if you need stuff like OAuth signing and Unix domain sockets, and a little bit easier TLS SSL stuff and support for R12. If you need those four things, great, use request. Otherwise, there is zero reason for you to install yet another library on your server. You can use Restify Client. So let me give you an example. We're gonna set up Restify Server as normal. So I've instantiated Restify. We're gonna instantiate a server from it. So we're creating a server. I'm then gonna create our first route and only route, and this is ping. When somebody makes a get request to our server running locally, request the route of ping, I'm gonna send, hey, it worked 200, HTTP 200 status code, and this JSON back to let them know that it works. Finally, we're gonna listen on, I guess, port 8080, yeah, port 8080. And when it's done, we'll see that it's listening. We'll see the logs when it's running. So let's go ahead and run this server here. We'll say node index. It's now running at this port. So let's open it up, localhost 8080 slash ping. And cool, we get our JSON back. So we know our server is running. Now let's create a server that actually makes another HTTP request to another server on our behalf. I've gone to my Amazon account and created a very simple pet store application, exposed it through the API gateway, which you can import and create them from scratch. If you just go back to the API gateway itself and hit create API, if you click off to the right here of example API, it'll create all these routes and everything for you. It's very wonderful to play with and you can destroy it later. If I go to this URL, I can actually request the request way. So let's go ahead and show you that. They open request and they say request.get to that particular route and it gives them back either an error, the standard node callback mechanism, a response, and they've done their attempt to parse the body for you, which is very helpful. If we log out the body here, let's stop our server and we'll run node index again. And we'll comment out the actual server because we don't do the route yet. So we're running their server again and you'll see that it makes a request and gets our JSON back. But we don't need that library. We can actually do it in Restify. So let me show you how that works. You can copy this directly from the docs. So we've got our route here, the actual main URL and domain that you're going to in subdomain. And then that gives you a client. So it's different from a server, it's a client. This is how you do Ajax on a server. Very similar to request. It's almost the exact same, you feel very familiar. Let's go ahead and make our first request here which is a get request to slash prod slash pet. So that's the route. Just like before, it gives you the error, but it gives you the actual request that was made too, and it attempts to parse the object and run our code. We get the same thing as before. We get the Ajax there, but it's using Restify. When you're doing unit test, if you're not testing headers and expectation of response codes, you don't even need that. You can actually use Restify's create client in your integration test. So if you're actually physically hitting your server, you can spawn clients that talk to your Restify server and that we have good integration tests as well. So again, Restify itself works for everything. You don't need requests unless you're doing those special things I cited. And you don't even need super tests unless you really care about that chain around 
making sure your headers and HTTP status codes are good before you verify your data. That's my opinion, but it's up to you. So hopefully that makes it simple for you, lessens the amount of libraries you need to use. And if you've never done orchestration layers, be aware that Restify is not just a server, it's the gateway for you to actually make orchestration layers. You have your servers, you make a bunch of client requests to other servers, and then give yourself some nice JSON on the client in one call using nodes, non-block and IO, so you can make multiple HTTP calls. And when they're all done, you're good to go for here.